Welcome to Tech Talk, y'all. Hey, and welcome to Tech Talk, y'all, episode 345. I'm Adam Walker. And I'm Sanjay Parikh. And uh, we have a just jam-packed episode for you today. We're recording Jam late packed. on a Friday afternoon, and all of the technology news happened on a Friday morning, apparently. I don't know. Who knew? <laughs> so uh, we got a lot yeah, of articles to cover It's been today. one of those kinds of days, which mm-hmm. is why we're recording so late. But, so late, uh, and we're going to get this out on a Saturday. But that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's, uh, let's dive right in. Yep. So Google is a monopolist. Judge rules in landmark antitrust case. I I I don't know that I knew that monopolist could be a a, a term like that. I, I, they, monopolist? Yeah, mono, I, mon, I, they have they you have a monopoly. a monopoly. Yeah, they have but a monopoly, be, but I didn't know you were a monopoly. I like it. I like the noun, it. the noun version of that. Like, yeah, you, I mean it makes sense. What just, are you if you have a monopoly? You're a monopolist. Yeah, you're a monopolist. Clearly. Yeah. So yeah, you're, um, you're you're like the little guy with the hat. You know, I mean monopoly. that's perfect for me, right? basically. Yeah. So I'm sure uh, somebody has made a graphic of <laughs> Google with the with, with the hat. hat. Yeah, with yeah. I mean, so uh, this is bad news. What's going to happen next? I mean, what are so your this what is, thoughts? I I think this has some really wide ranging repercussions potentially if this actually. <laughs> uh, kind of goes through. So I think in another month or two, they're going to decide what the penalties are. Okay. Uh, maybe it's right. after that. I don't remember now, but here's the thing that I didn't know before this all happened is how much I knew Mozilla got a lot of revenue from Google. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We all did not that. realize how much. So their revenue, I think it was last year, or the year before was something like $583 million of that north of 500 million. Was from Google. I, I That's a lot I of money. I I don't like that at all. As a right. as a Firefox user, like it kind of feels. Yes. I don't like. I don't. I don't like that. Yeah. So here's mm-hmm. another surprising one. Mm-mm. And so this, like, if this happens and they like try to break up Google like they did with the AT and T system yeah. and the baby bells and all that. Yeah. Like. Who knows what's going to happen with all these people that are reliant on these ad revenues from Google. Right. But another one that's reliant, maybe not as much because they have so much money, is Apple, which makes roughly $20 billion a year from Google on ad revenues and search revenues. Now, remember, their competitors in a lot of spaces, but Apple is making $20 billion dollars from google wow how do you feel about your apple products now i mean so making in what way like how like i like by I mean, having same- google be the search engine and when you use that they get a oh cut so it's the same kickback. it's the same deal as firefox just on a much larger. so okay so so i i don't even know i don't even know what to say like i, I don't know i don't I almost feel like the Firefox thing feels worse to me because I felt like I always felt like Firefox was this like independent they were whatever supposed thing. To watch yeah, your back. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, like to me, that almost feels worse. Like Apple, like it doesn't surprise me that Apple does that at all. Like, right. I, I already knew that I didn't know the number, but I already knew they right. did it. Um, but, but let me ask you, how much money have you given Mozilla Foundation to build Firefox as your browser? How dumb would you feel right now if I was like, I just gave them a hundred dollars. I did, I did it, but how bad would you feel if I had? Okay, no, I, I, I'm not I, giving them any money. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah that's and true. and yeah. Uh, my dollar amount that I've given matches your dollar amount that you've given. One hundred and fifty thousand? No, nothing. Zero. <laughs> just kidding. Of course, yeah. zero dollars. Yeah, so. zero dollars. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And so okay. obviously they have to make money some way. Yeah. I just don't know that I realized it was that much. And that's also, crazy. by the way, I've changed my default search engine on Firefox to DuckDuckGo. Anyways. Yeah, DuckDuckGo is great. So they don't yeah. make money on me. Yeah, uh, right. I do appreciate the browser, though. Right, but, yeah, for sure. Um, okay. So well. I, I think this could have some very far-ranging That's crazy. Uh, impacts. Yeah. And I don't know that we really realize what all those impacts are. But I think it could be a great wake-up call for a lot of these organizations to go, hey, you know what? Maybe we should figure out other ways of making money. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. There you go. Uh, Something else that Google has been up to the Google TV streamer that might be Apple TV 4K rival we've been waiting for, but who knows? They're probably both making money on it, even if it's Google or whatever. So 
Here's the interesting thing about it. So basically, they've killed off, much to Mickey's chagrin, yeah. they've killed off Chromecast yep. as a standalone device. Right. They've launched this new thing. Right. Um, and what I actually found the most interesting of this new thing was not the TV stuff that they're doing in it, but the fact that they've integrated matter and yeah. thread into this. They are really starting to position themselves for smart home technologies. And I think this actually might be good for all the rest of us, even if you're not going to use this thing, because I think <gasps> this is going to drive to. more and more adoption <laughs> yeah. of matter and thread, which I've yeah. been using now in my own home. And I got to tell you, it is way better than any of the other home networking technologies to get mm. things working. It is so much simpler, yeah. so much more straightforward. It's easier to set up. It is just nice. a no brainer really. Yeah. And for, okay. for regular users, it's going to be great. Yeah. But I think this really signals what they are going to do in the future. And yeah. I think it, it it can be something about the maturing market. And the next article, I think, tips on this as well. Yeah. So next article, after nine years, Google's Nest Learning Thermostat gets an AI makeover. So apparently it's going to include Gemini and you can talk to it a little bit more. It's a little more conversational. Not that I would ever really want to talk to my thermostat, but sure. And uh, it, I think the article mentioned... It'll be able to do micro adjustments to your thermostat to, you know, when you're home and you're not to sort of better comfort you and save you money, which to me feels like it's going to save like five cents a month. Um, so, so you should buy this $250 thermostat to save five cents a month. So, so I, I, I'm not buying one. Um, right. But okay. Sure. Well, I mean, I will say like the, yeah. I used to have the early nest. I don't have yeah. nest anymore. I'm an Ecobee yeah. uh, household now. Yeah. Um, they definitely did save a lot of money compared to the old oh, yeah. dumb thermostats. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll say that this is only going to save you five cents. It might save you a lot more than that. If, but I if think, you're going from a dumb thermostat, for sure. But if you're right, going from an already definitely. nest thermostat, probably not. Yeah, thing. maybe yeah. not. Right. But I bet you, and they didn't talk about it, this in the article, but I bet you, I, I would bet you money that this has thread and matter built into it. Oh, and this is another device that they're putting out there because mm. if they did it in the TV thing, there's no reason why they wouldn't put it in this and they yeah, just roll this out that's true. so that this integrates into all the things. So then you can talk to Gemini and be like, Hey, uh, you know, shut, shut my shades, turn yeah. on the lights, right. you know, get the hot water going, okay, okay, turn okay. on the coffee, like, like all it. the things, because all of it's going to talk to one another. And then once the AI becomes smart enough, you know, the house is going to turn around and try to kill you yeah. because that's what all AIs do. So I like this then from that perspective, that and the what AI really, is going to kill you. No, the other part, oh. Oh, what I really part. hope is that Google's going to come up with this like great smart home thing. And uh -huh. then somebody else is going to come along and compete with them. And I can buy the thing from somebody else because I'm not <laughs> buying stuff from Google anymore because they freaking shut it down all the time. They're going to shut so it I'm, down. Yeah, I do not trust them. I will not buy their stuff. There's, I'm never buying Google smart home stuff. I'm just not yeah. going to do it. So, so. I mean, I, I will tell you, there are a number of companies and I've recommended some of those products here in past tech recs. Yeah. Um, there's a number of companies that make matter thread devices. And some of them are that are just fantastic that work really well. Right. Motion sensors, door sensors, light switches, a bunch of things. I've actually Dark shooters. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to talk about that. Laser that's guns. Security. That's part of the security system. Oh, yeah. You can't talk Sorry. about yeah, that. I that's forgot. top yeah. secret. There, yeah. there are some um, light switches that I'm going to talk about in the future once I get them going and installed that are matter thread based um, that I'm really, really excited about. I have them in the boxes. I just haven't installed them yet, but wait I need for a, a future tech rec for me. I need a Nerf dart shooter that's automated for when you walk in the door an, like an like, like a non-family member walks in the door you get shot with a nerf dart like not a family member so like have some facial recognition built in you know nice. like to be i mean how great would it be you know nice so, maybe so would you like, put that on the porch like during halloween for yeah. trick-or-treaters like I, that, what, that I think, I, here's the dream i think the dream would be that it does facial recognition uh -huh. so when a non-family member walks in it shoots them with a nerf dart but not only does it shoot them with a nerf dart it shoots them with a nerf dart that has a painted tip so it leaves like a mark on their face. Like, so you can tell what, do, if they walked in the front door, like, Oh, they got the mark. Okay. <laughs> They're not family member. The, they got the, the mark of the front door. The mark of the front door. Different than the mark of the beast. <laughs> it's the mark of the front door. <laughs> oh, oh, exactly. Exactly. That's the best. That's the best. So, uh, something else that's a mark on you, uh, yeah, or it's going to be yeah, a mark on somebody. Yeah. Elon Musk's Neuralink device is implanted in a second patient 
uh good i guess i mean uh, good for that patient i assume yeah. you know if like that's yeah i mean assuming it works and doesn't have problems like the first one like that's great for that patient they'll get more functionality uh more right. access to devices and uh that's probably a good thing yeah presumably it's better than the first time around but probably still not perfect i would yeah, imagine we'll see we'll see so, I don't know. Speaking of uh, not perfect, uh, Elon Musk <laughs> revised lawsuit against OpenAI Sam Altman in federal court, where he's saying that he basically got tricked into co-founding OpenAI tricked. and uh, investing a ton of money, and then they put up a bunch of shell corporations or something to make it make the nonprofit into a for-profit ish something. I'm not exactly yeah. sure what the argument is. But, I, I um, wonder if this was on April 20th that they uh, that they did this whole thing because you know. I'm sure he was smoking it up on that day. <laughs> Wait, right? That's April. his 420 day. April yeah, 20. no, I knew that knew April, but I was I was trying to remember what month it was now. So it wasn't <laughs> that I didn't know the 420 reference. I didn't know what <laughs> month we're currently in to realize it's, if that was recent or not. That's the problem. Like I'm, it's definitely not now. We're yeah. in August now. Yeah, it's a this long is, time ago. This yeah. is two A months, but yeah. different yeah. A's. Yeah, yeah, different times go. of the year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and finally talking about something else that was probably done on 420. Uh, well, some of the actions that lead up, Ugh. led up to this work. Say what? Uh, X files antitrust suit against advertising groups over systematic illegal boycott. That's in quotes. Hey, here's an idea. Maybe you don't have your platform suck and then people won't boycott it. Or maybe you don't sit. With on stage with a bunch of your advertisers in the audience and tell them to go f themselves, yep. and they don't, and you don't need their advertising dollars. Yep. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's I a think, good idea. I think if I'm one of the defendants in this lawsuit, I just play that little clip of him them and be like, "We did what he said." Yeah, I don't see the problem. He invited us to not advertise with him. We took him up on that invitation. I think we're good. We're good. What? Are you good? Yeah, you good? I'm, I'm good. We're good. Case okay, dismissed. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All set. yeah. 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 We're boom. good. Yeah, this is an idiot. He's an idiot. And it's just like, there's a reason why I'm not on Twitter anymore. My handle's still there. Actually, it's funny. I dip in every now and again. Yeah. And my, like, my at mentions tab is a dumpster fire now. Really? They're like, so everybody knows I've got a very well known, easy handle name, handle there. It's just my first name, at Sanjay. Um, any of you can go at me or DM me there. I'm never going to see it because That's I'm right. not on Twitter anymore. That's right. Yeah. But I'll dip in there every now and get, and I get tagged by basically all of, all of the country of India. Uh, they're tagging me for things that other Sanjays are doing. Mm. And it's like, I'm not that person. I'm not that one. And, not that and one? it's gotten not that one, not that worse one. since no, Musk took over it. Interesting. Like, I used to get it every now and again. And it's funny because I became friends with some of the people who I share a name with. Yeah, yeah, I've told them that before. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I, got, yeah, I became cool. friends with this uh, Jamaican uh, rapper, uh, hip-hop reggae guy. When I think of rap- you, that's one of the things that I think of. I think security-minded yeah. individual, Jamaican rapper. Like, those are... That's, you they're know, competing. I mean, They're competing in my brain. Uh, yeah. My guy there, he, is, mm-hmm. he goes by the handle, Sanjay is the name. Yeah. I was getting all kinds of messages about my hairstyle and, and my facial hair and things like okay. that. Okay, okay. I don't have facial. I would hair. love to see you with facial hair. Yeah. That would be amazing. Um, it's happened before, but not recently. Let's do it again. Let's make it happen again. Yeah. I'm going to start talking a about a lot of hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm talking about a lot of hair, a lot of awesome hair. Uh, <laughs> Colin Kaepernick pisses off comics industry with AI comics deal. So apparently he's starting up a company that will uh, write and AI will write the comic and illustrate the comic. I'm still trying to understand exactly what the angle is for the making of the money um, or like the quality side of it. I'm not sure I that I fully get it, uh, but man, the comic people are pissed. Like they're real mad about it. Yeah. So, um, and and yeah. I don't know if you realize this, but we have a lot of comic artists here in Atlanta. Yeah. There, yeah. There's a lot of them. I met once years and years ago, the guy who did the reboot of black Panther, which led into the movie, Oh, Black Panther. He lives here. He's, wow. he's actually not far from me and you. Okay. Okay. He, he doesn't live that far. He's on the North end here. Nice. Um, and so I, I just, you know, I, I don't really know what to take of this. I, I don't see how it's going to work out. I don't. I, yeah. I, don't I mean, maybe I'm short sighted. I might be short sighted. It's may, possible. Maybe it's good for telling the stories, but yeah. I don't know that the value of these comics is going to go up 
tremendously because yeah. there isn't that creativity right. that really makes art what it is, right? Yeah, like it's, right. it's not just generating things. It's also about like the, the human input and the, that's and, right. and kind of the, yeah. the soul that goes into it. That's right. Like that's right. Yeah. I, I still have a ton of comics and I still yeah. collect comics. Okay. I, I don't know that. Yeah. I don't know if a generated AI comic would be something that it'd be like, you know, I, maybe I'd read it. Yeah. But I wouldn't be like, this is not going to be worth much of anything. No. And I wonder if they're even going to publish these in book format, right? Maybe these are digital. Yeah, maybe only. they're all online. I don't know. We'll right? have to look at, wait and see, I guess. I yeah. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else that's unhappy. Uh, video game actors are officially on strike over AI. Did you know there were video game actors? Uh, I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, gu yeah. I guess I did actually. So, so like so it's enough, a lot of voiceover. Actors. Yeah. 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 So, so actually yeah. my, my neighbor like behind my, but like through the woods behind my house, apparently used to do this. And he on was the way to about, grandmother's house. Yes. On the way across the, over, over and through the woods. And yeah. uh, he was telling me about how he would like go into a sound booth and he'd be like, he'd be like grenade. And like, like, hit, like that was his job was like to yell like grenade and get like the right tone of like grenade. Uh, for the video game. So I, I guess, so I guess I did realize that that was a thing, but yeah, somehow reading about it makes it like, wait, that's a thing. I guess it is a thing. So, um, yeah. And, and then yeah. there's the actual physical actors too. So a lot of people, um, get hired to put on like those green body suits oh. with the, with the little dots. Oh, wouldn't and have thought the, of that. Okay. They'll have yeah. them run and do yeah. things. So they, they'll use like to a real the, human like model human movement, right. To yeah. be able to model the okay. action okay. in the video game yeah. because they want it to look realistic. Okay. Right. And so if you just do it in models, then yeah. it's, it's not going to look as realistic as av actually having somebody do it in real life. So, okay. Okay. So well. I, I think there's a, a lot of different places where actors actually get involved in some of these things. Yeah. Um, and they're and, and I think are, are you, you're playing that video game, the, the college football one. Yeah. I think yeah. They, that's the first time. I think we talked about it, didn't we? The first time they paid college athletes. Yes. To yes. have their faces yeah. on there. And I think yeah. they got like $600 and a copy of the game or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they did right? pretty so, good. Yeah. So in, in some ways, like, take you it. know, they're actors, actors in the game as well. Yeah, so, that's true. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next uh, AI article Automatic launches AI writing tool that aims to make WordPress blogs more readable and succinct. So Automatic is the company that manages WordPress.com uh, and kind of, uh, kind of, uh, ma sort of manages the WordPress community as a whole to some degree. As, as much as open source is managed and um and yeah they're, they're adding ai to uh to the wordpress.com setup to make things more brief and better written and yeah. i love that so they, yeah they, they, basically it. they're saying all you people are writing way too much and it's, it's too long <laughs> it's fully true let's, that's let's fully cliff true notes all of this stuff. it's fully true yes that's <laughs> let's do that and in light of that let's move to the next article <clears throat> yeah NVIDIA caught stealing mind-boggling quantity of YouTube videos to train AI. I'm not sure I understand what that means because there's some people that watch mind-boggling quantities of YouTube videos as well. Yeah. Well, I think the idea is that they scraped, they just scraped a ton of videos off of YouTube that were, you know, videos there are for, for public consumption, but I don't think, I, I would assume at least in the terms they're not able, they're, you're not able to, are not supposed to use it to train AI. And right. yeah, so maybe, yeah. if that's the case, then, you know, they can't be scraping a bunch of YouTube videos and doing all that. Yeah. I think so. this is, I don't know. It's like the wild west of everything, oh, dude, right? Like it's all crazy. this is all yeah. reliant on having an open web. And now Long are stream. some of these things going to clamp down on having an open web Right. Like Reddit is clamped down and yeah. not allowing a lot of things, a, a lot of uh, search engines and, and web crawlers yeah. to go through there, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is kind of the antithesis of the Internet. Right. It's supposed to be open and that's available. true. That's true. And yeah. I don't know. I think I feel like these AI people are, are making it so that we can't have nice things anymore. <laughs> this right? is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't Darth have nice things. Lynn. <laughs> Darth Lynn. What? No, dark. That's a. I was quoting Taylor Swift. Thank you very much. Oh, but that's okay. It's a, it's okay that you didn't know I, that. It's okay. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah. No. We'll, Taylor Swift. Our we'll allow it. Lyrics. We'll allow it. Okay. Yeah. We'll Next up, uh, Apple's new Safari feature removes distracting items from websites. By the way, I don't know if you noticed this. There's also a new version because I got a pop up in Firefox. A new version of Firefox that came out and said, "Oh, by the way, 
we have this thing. It's this little reader thing. Click on that and it'll make the website not distracting and just focus on the content. And I think that button has been there for a long time, but I think they're highlighting. Yeah, Yeah, it's readability mode. I I think they're highlighting it because Apple has announced this thing. But I think this is different, right? Is this different? Well, the way, yeah, because the way I read it was you can be in Safari and you can be like, hey, I don't want to see this specific item in this web page. And you can hide like the one, the item. And then every time you go back, it'll just stay hidden. Like that, that, I I haven't used this in practice, but that's the way I understood the article as I read it. And like, if that's true, that's kind of interesting. And I kind of want to try it. But you can do this already with uBlock. Uh, you can actually, there's like a little dropper tool. I, I'm looking at it right now. There's a little dropper tool mm-hmm. that will select the element that you don't want anymore. And it'll create the regular expression to block that from yeah, there yeah, on the out. Yeah, display none or whatever. Yeah, yeah I mean, okay. it, it'll just hides it. So like... Uh, this has existed for a long time and you, well, it's existed, but as people like me didn't realize that perhaps. And so now it's a part of like the core and not, yeah, but it's, it's you block origin. So any of you that are wanting this kind of functionality in Chrome or Firefox, you can just add that extension and boom, you got it. I like it. Clearly it's probably not going to be as user-friendly as something that's built in natively in Safari but you don't need to change web browsers to be able to have this functionality. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, speaking of functionality, Microsoft <laughs> fires back at Delta after massive outage and says airline declined quote repeated offers for help. So airline, so Delta was more affected by the CrowdStrike outage than most airlines were. I think Microsoft also claimed that Delta had been lax in some maybe some of its updates since maybe some of its systems were a little older and that was part of the problem as well. And apparently. Microsoft reached out to quote help Delta and never heard back. Though I I don't see how that's a real thing. Like like if you, like if Delta's in crisis and you've got another major corporation saying hey like hey how can we help? Like you don't have time to spin up a bunch of people from that corporation to come help you fix your problem. Like that's not a real solution. So this feels like yeah. a PR stunt to me. In in the headline it said the CEO of Microsoft emailed the CEO of Delta and never received a little reply back. And Why would you receive a reply? I, That's I insane. Didn't read the, I didn't read the entire uh, yeah. article, but it's like, if they sent one email, CEO to CEO, like, I if feel they said, like Ed Bastian at Delta was probably a little bit busy and yeah. not checking emails right then if, when the whole thing was melting to the ground. If they sent a hundred emails, it's still wouldn't like it's still pointless. That's what I'm hey, saying. Like it's dumb. It's a pointless. Maybe you dumb... should pick up the phone and be like, "Hey, Ed, this is <laughs> this is text whatever that dude. I, yeah, you, know, you got his number. Text him. See what's right. going on. You know. Or you know what? They have Microsoft people here in Atlanta." Get a couple of them in the car. Yeah. Drive down. Right. We all know where Delta's headquarters are. That's true. It's not a secret. That's true. It's not like an unmarked building. Go or above and beyond Microsoft. Just go down That's there all I'm and be say. like, hey, we're Microsoft. We're here to help. What should we do? Like, that's what I would do. But I mean, in all fairness, like that'd be a really great way to hack some people. Like you and I could have been like, hey, we're Microsoft. <laughs> we're here to help. And like walked right in with a little Microsoft fake badge and be like, hey, plug this thumb drive in. It'll fix everything. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Next major outage. You and I need to get to the color printer making badges for some company and be like, we're here. We're You'll here to like, help. Hey, I'm Sanjay. This is Adam from CrowdStrike. We're here to help. Wait, no, CrowdStrike. Oh, never mind. We're gonna, gonna leave now. <clears throat> See, we're See from you Microsoft. <laughs> we're from Google. We're from. Who do you need help from? <laughs> who do you need? Help? Right now, if you were asking, <laughs> what organization would be helpful to you most? Because we might be from that. We got one. you. We got yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Uh, next article. Third party cookies have got to go. This is an art- article hey, from man. W, what, W3.org, right? Isn't that the article? Yeah. And the, ba- yeah. It, World, it, the World Web Consor- Worldwide Web Consortium. Yeah. And they're basically okay, just yeah. making the art- art- argument that Google's walk back on eliminating third party, co- third party cookies is bad for the web, which I think you and I would both agree with. And 
I got nothing else to say about it. Yeah, we've already been there. Yeah. Uh, we're just uh, sharing this article to sh- prove to all of our listeners, listeners that we're right. That, that we're right yeah. And you should just listen to us yeah. from now on mm-hmm. and and not wait for anybody else to approve yes. the things that we've already Preferably said. Preferably as you're so, falling asleep at night. Wait, Right. No, so I, by the way, if, if Adam and I show up at your house and we say we're from Microsoft, <laughs> you should believe that is true. Let us in. <laughs> let us plug in whatever we want into whatever devices. <laughs> It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And what's not going to be fine, though, uh, is you trying to pay us with a personal check. Yeah, the personal check mm-hmm. is disappearing. Yeah. Here's what comes next. Yeah. So I know you don't use personal checks. We had this I, discussion. I before. did write one last week for uh, a new for the, a, a fix on my garage door because the dude's like, you can write me a check right now. Or you can pay by credit card and I'll add 3%. And I'm like, uh-huh. well, I don't want to pay an extra 3%. So I'll right. write you a check right now. Um, yeah. So that's the only time I write checks. It's like to the AC guy, to the garage yeah. door person, to the <laughs> roof person. Right. Like that's the only time I ever write checks is that scenario. Yeah. So, so I, yeah. I actually just wrote a check last week as well. It's pretty far and in, in between when I write checks. Yeah. Um, especially personal you, you checks. You want to know how, how old my checks are, Sanjay? I think the address... <laughs> On the checks that I write, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think it's where I lived five or six houses ago. I'm not joking. Wow. Like I think I think it's the location that I lived in like 2007. I think that's the address on the checks that I have. There, I, ha- I got such a big box of them. Yep. That like I just they were never, free, right? They were yeah. Free. I don't. Re- I don't even remember. But I've never run through them, and I'm like, those are going to be the check. I'm gonna be writing checks with my residence is Douglasville until I die. Like that's, what's going to happen. So they still cash. I guess it's fine. You I know, mean, whatever. if, if the bank so, account's still the same, I don't think they care. Yeah, they so care. whatever it is. It yeah. is. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. So there's a lot of new stuff coming out, Venmo and things like that, that people are using to replace this stuff. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's good. I, I do, I do, like I do have a, I do, I will say this. I used to pay the dog groomer that we take our uh-huh. dogs to through Venmo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then the most recent time I took them there. Cause it's like, it's just like a person's house. Like it's not okay. like a, it's not like a big business. And last time I was there, she's like, yeah, we're only doing cash now. And I'm like, smart lady. You're Why does son. Venmo take a cut? I think, I think there's reporting requirements oh. with Venmo. So I mean, I, I'm not claiming anything. I'm just saying that. Mm, you know <laughs> anyway i'm just moving on that's all i'm doing i'm just moving on time for the weird and wacky segment abominable snowman oh, not an axe murderer. one of the tas turned out to be a bot all right we have one weird and wacky for you and it's kind of weird wacky and freaking awesome so uh saudi arabia unveils the 2034 world cup stadium on the line at is that no neom neom i don't know so sure i don't know so just a reminder the line is a city that's like think of like a giant skyscraper and it's stacked too deep and goes a mile long like that's the line like that's what it's it's going to be a city that is a line that's one building that's a line that's amazing and they want to put the stadium for the world cup literally on top of that which sounds like an engineering marvel to me or a horrific tragedy, depending on how all the engineering goes, because that's a lot of people to have in a stadium on top of a gigantic building thing structure. So, uh, so yeah. you and I, we went to Georgia tech yeah. and we know engineers. Yeah. I know a lot of engineers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not going in this thing because <laughs> I know engineers. You're not volunteering to uh to go test it out, huh? Not anytime yeah. soon ever. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I would love to go visit the line once the line is done. That sounds kind of amazing. I don't know how I feel about going to that particular part of uh, uh, that particular. I don't know about that, I, but I think uh, I would be okay if jet packs were real and I'd be allowed to walk around with one. So okay, if something fair, happened, fair. I could just, just pack jump out. Of out. There. Yeah, just I like that. Jet pack right on out. I like how your mind immediately goes to just bailing out into the wide open <laughs> space. Like that's kind of like, is that how you think when you're driving to you're like, look, 
kid, you can drive, but I'm going to fly out the door if things go bad. Like, I just want you to know I'm going to tuck and roll. It's going to be fine. If and things you know, go we'll see south, at the house. Yeah, we're out the door. Things go south. That's probably what you're thinking when you're on a plane. You're like, just give me a parachute. I'll be okay. I promise. You know, I, I've always so. thought about that. Like, would you be really nervous if somebody just walked in on a plane with a parachute on the back? Like, I'm sure someone like, has done it. There is yeah. no doubt. To, I wonder in my if there's mind, any rules around it. that. I would think there would have to be, right? But why, why would there be? It's just it's well, because there, I think right? I, I think because they. I don't know. It's a great question. Yeah. I mean, if you have a parachute, are you more likely to like throw open the door and try to jump out? Like that's that's <laughs> the concern, right? Like that you're some psycho person yeah, that would just maybe. like open a commercial flight door and try to or jump. Or they're just like, this is just the backup plan. Yeah, it's that's some that's some craziness. <laughs> Okay, Adam, it is tech wreck time. What do you have for us this week? So I'm trying out a new app called uh, Prehab. So apparently there's this content creator uh, that goes by like Prehab is kind of their moniker and they've got an app. I've, got, I've had some knee pain literally going on for years now. And um I'm going to try their, they're kind of like, they do that. They walk you through this thing. Like, where's your pain? How severe is your pain? Is it in the front or the back, whatever. And then it's like, here's your exercise regimen to fix that problem. And then it like ah. walks you through all of the different things. And then, it, but it also does like, are you trying to strengthen something? Are you trying to prevent injury? Are you trying to recover from injury? So it's got kind of all these scenarios that are, are all like rehab type scenarios to help you through. So they've got a, a seven day free trial. After that, it's it's kind of pricey. It's two hundred dollars a year, um, or fifty dollars a month. So wait, you're way better off, obviously, going for the year. Uh, but I mean, honestly, like if it gets rid of my knee pain, I'll pay two hundred a year gladly for that. So and right. it's way cheaper than going to a, a rehab facility where you're paying like one hundred fifty dollars every single session, and the doctor wants you to go every week, which is why right. I don't go, which is why I still have knee pain. So. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm too cheap. I'm, I'm, I'm legit too cheap to go to, to physical therapy. Like I just, I just am, um, right. at least at this particular point in my life for this particular ailment. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to give it a shot and I'll let you know if it works. So, I mean, yeah. this looks, it looks super interesting. I, yeah. I'm interested to know in the next week if this works, because if so, I've got some random things that don't feel great either. Yeah. Like, who knows? Yeah. Give it a shot. 200 bucks in a year. Not a bad price point. Not bad. Go away. Not bad. Yeah. All right. Sanjay, what do you have for us this week? So uh, mine's like a, a, it's a nested um, tech wreck of sorts because you kind of need other things to make this tech wreck work. So it's, okay. it's magic mirror yeah. um, is the tech wreck. So magic mirror is basically an open source software suite that uh, you run on a Raspberry Pi, hence yep. the nested. So you've got to have something else right. to run this on and it'll run a display that will give you uh, kind of all kinds of information that you want on there. So I've started playing with this and started setting it up to do uh, things like, well, the weather, of course, and, yeah. and a clock and right. a calendar. But one of the neat ones I've got on there is uh, I signed up for the Google API app uh, or API access for maps. And I've got a couple of locations like, you know, my parents' house and my wife's parents' house and, and Emory and tech. And it'll tell me and know the real time traffic to each one of those. Okay. And it just kind of shows it at that on this kind of dashboard display. Yeah. So the idea is you, you build up a display like this. You can actually have it as a mirror. So put a piece of right. glass in front of it yep. so you can see the data behind it. But then it's also a mirror as well. So it's a smart mirror of sorts. Uh, but what I'm going to use it is probably not a mirror so much, but more as a family dashboard. So we all kind of know what's going on in the house, mm. you know, I'm eventually going to put the cars on there. So no, yeah. the electric cars, how much charge they have. So, Ooh, hey, we need to nice. make sure we don't forget to plug them in. Yeah. Something okay. like that. Oh, where is everybody? Let's see their calendars and have yeah. all that on there. Okay. So it's kind of a, a unified uh, family data dashboard of sorts. Uh, and it's all open source and it works reasonably well. I, I bought a Raspberry Pi just for this. Yeah. 100, 120 bucks or so to get the Raspberry Pi up and going and then right. put the software on there. So here's my my main question, which is, uh, what types of pranks are you planning to pull on your family once you have a family dashboard? So, like for oh. example, right? So oh, all kinds. I I have you know a couple of teenage sons. So if it were me, I'd have like family dashboard, and I'd have like a counter on there, and I would say days since X has showered, and it would just count up every day <laughs> that he hasn't showered, right? 
um, until he finally notices, which he never would, um, or just something of that nature. Like, I like, I, have you thought through some real potential here? I, that, that's an interesting idea. We might yeah. need to uh, get like a moisture sensor for the showers to make a real time oh, oh, days since you showered. Oh, now we're talking. Oh my gosh. I love that. I love Level that. it up a little bit yeah. here. Yeah. Or, right? or like, you could go the other way, right? Where like, I've got my youngest son that uh-huh. will shower, but he'll shower for like as long. Like I didn't know a human could be in the shower for that long. He's right. He's like eight and he's in the shower for like 10 years. So it could be like number of minutes he's been in the shower and it's just counting up into infinity, basically. Like that would be really interesting. So, and then, you know? and then so. you could calculate gallons per minute because you yeah. know how many gallons per minute the faucet and is. Then, and then I could be like, multiply. this is how many, uh, wh- how much wildlife you're killing in your shower. Like I could be like, so that, that's what I like. This is how much well, pollution you've got. It's or, killing this much wildlife could, per shower. You could contr- c- convert that into dollars because you know how much. He don't care about dollars. Cut. He don't care well, about dollars. Well, but when he asks you to buy something, be uh, like, well, but take a shorter shower. That's but it. But you cost us as much oh, no, in water. I can, well, no, no, wait, one better. I can convert it into dollars and then convert that into Legos. You've showered this much value of Legos. And be like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Now, now your problem is, is yeah. that that rapidly could become zero Legos worth of showers. Yeah. And then you're going to have a different problem. Then it's a di- very different. This is back to the other problem. It's That's back to the, the other first problem. problem. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. The first problem. So there you go. I'm going to have to think about the pranks that I've got uh, in store, but it might be coming. I like it. I like it. it. All right. Yeah. Now can our listeners find and connect with you? They can find me at sunjaypark.com. What about you, Adam? They can find me at adamjwalker.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Find you working out, rehabbing. Doo-doo-doo!